what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so today I got another video for you all and it's a little different than things I've been doing as you can see behind me my whole entire setup is completely different so what I want to do for you guys today is I want to take you on a tour through my setup and all the upgrades and enhancements that I've done to my setup namely like the desk area and stuff like that and show you what goes on behind the scene here at Petty Fitches um, I work in a pretty small area so I'm not like a lot of big YouTubers out there who have a whole dedicated room for you know um, a studio and stuff like that but I do what I can to bring you all good content so so with that said guys I'm gonna go ahead and take you on a tour and show you exactly what goes on behind the scenes here at Petty Fixes let's go okay so here's the whole setup now there's still a few things I gotta do um, it's not quite perfect yet and I'm not showing you exactly everything but to get to the gist of it I just want to go over some of the things I did do now obviously you can tell I got a brand new desk area um, these are the Ikea Linmon desks um, I like these desks I've been looking at these for quite some time and they're cheap they're efficient they do the job I didn't need anything crazy like the um, Carlby countertop and the Alex drawers like everybody has because this actually works out for me much better and it's cheaper so I'm all about saving money where I can. Um, so let's get to everything that's on my desk at the moment. So I do have my speakers. These are the Clips speakers. Um, they're really good speakers. I've been having them for like four years. I don't plan on getting rid of them. I don't need no desktop monitors or anything like that. Um, I'm not producing music or really care about audio quality. For that, I got headphones. So um, that's one. Um, next on my desk would be the Blue Yeti mic. Now, if you're serious about audio quality, you want to upgrade your mic. For me as a YouTuber, this right here is perfect for me. I don't have an audio interface, so without having an audio interface, um, this is a USB mic, and the sound coming straight into it and th its output itself is actually really good. Now, you can use programs like Audacity to actually go through and edit your sound profile or edit your voice and your know, clips and stuff like that inside of audacity and then you know overlay them on your videos I also use this when I'm gaming so like when I'm gaming I actually use the mic for you know voices and stuff like that to talk to my players and my teammates and stuff like that so that's that and then I have a Google home hey Google well you too then you ain't listening to me but I have a Google home I love it I use it for everything um, my main reason I wanted a Google home was because I have a lot of things on my in my house that are actually smart things so I can control them with my Google Home or I can control them with Amazon Alexa my girlfriend's son has an Alexa so I can control them with all kinds of things um, next I have a wireless charger so I like wireless stuff that's just me I've always liked things that are wireless with the wireless charger I can just sit my phone on it boom charges you know while I'm doing other work or whatever this one is from Omar's it's a fast charger um, I found it on Amazon for about 15 bucks it's really cheap and I would definitely recommend one it charges all the latest phones at its fast charging speed that's a I think it's a 15 watt one so it's one of the stronger ones out there so check that out now for peripherals I have the Corsair K70 Mark II the uh, special edition one. Now I've been looking at this keyboard since I first laid eyes on it. I love the all white aesthetic, the brushed metal at the top. I mean it's built amazingly. It's got a volume wheel at the top. They got media buttons and stuff right there. It's just an overall great keyboard. The RGB on this one is actually like brighter due to the back, um, the little back plate where the keys sit. I guess the lights just reflect off that silver, that metal better and I mean I love it it's a great keyboard highly recommend this one um, I got this one on sale when it was at I think it was 129 at Best Buy it was at Amazon and Best Buy had it so I just matched the price there so I went and grabbed it from Best Buy got a home set up it integrates perfectly with IQ everything else I have set up so that's that so moving on I have the Corsair M65 and the Corsair Polaris mouse pad I love something on top of but um, I've been having these for quite a while I actually plan on upgrading the mouse to the M65 Elite um, it's actually white and gray so it'll match the keyboard perfectly but going back to the mouse and the, um, 
and the mouse pad i've been having these for quite some time like i said i love them they're trusty they they're reliable they do everything that i want them to do so um moving on i have the corsair headphone stand now this headphone stand has a 7.1 surround sound amp in it and it's pretty accurate for the most part i can tell the difference when i'm cutting on um the feature through my headphones for sure helps me you know track enemies and stuff like that better in my games so i really like that the headphones i have are the v motor crossfade m100s now those headphones are extremely good like i love the headphones i've been having those for quite some time too and um with those they're more audiophile headphones they're about 249 or so um i've been having those for a while and i bought the gaming boom mic to go with it um, I don't use the boom mic anymore as I use my Blue Yeti over there to talk to people. So, there's that. I definitely recommend those headphones though. They're really good headphones. Now, stepping all the way back, you can see I do got a dual monitor set up. Um, the top one is a 27 inch. It's a 1080p. It's not 4K, nothing like that. But it's 1080p, 144 hertz monitor from Dell. Um, you can find this on Amazon for about 179 right now. That's what I got it for on sale, but I think the regular price is 259 and then the bottom one is my LG monitor, which I've done a review on. It's like my first video ever. Um, it's a 29UC88 ultra wide monitor, it's 29 inch. I do all my productivity work on that, and then I game on the top monitor. So there's my two monitors. I have them sitting on two different monitor arms. So they're Vivo arms. Um, one's a short one, and one's a tall one. And going behind the monitors, you can actually see that, but I'm, I'm not going to do all that today. But One's a short one, the bottom monitor is mounted on the short one, and obviously the tall one, the top monitor is mounted on the tall one. So there's that. And then sitting over here, obviously it's the PC. This is the brains of the operation. So I'm going to be doing some upgrading to this PC soon. I just don't know when, but soon I'm going to change the loop order and do some more upgrades and stuff like that. So you all are pretty familiar with this build already. Um, Blanco is the name, if you're curious about that. And then up top, I got my Ultra Instinct Goku. Gotta have Ultra Instinct. Gotta have them. So I collect little figurines and stuff like that also. So there's the PC. And then I have a printer over here. Printer's not important. Don't help me game or nothing. So whatever. But that is the whole setup in a nutshell, guys. Um, that's it. I mean, there's not really much to see here. But it's a substantial upgrade. And it works out for me for productivity because... I have a lot of things that I do around my desk area and my old desk just wasn't cutting it. So, yeah. So, that was a tour of my setup. Now, if you guys like what you saw, drop me a like, subscribe to my channel, and comment in the comment section and just let me know what you guys think or if you have any questions about how I did what, um, how things were set up, if you have a question about what peripherals I use or the monitors or anything like that. i love to hear your input, any suggestions you can make on how I can make it better. You know, this right now is kind of where I want it to be but it's going to get better over time so um setup is evolution you know that's how things go around here so that's it guys this is Joe from Petty Fixes I'm out